Yeah, so, time to admit to a dirty little secret. Probably get me ostracized for gamer society. I like Eco the Dolphin. Some liked it, some didn't. To this day, it still gets the same mixed reviews because a lot of people have difficulty with being a dolphin. But I, I gotta admit, I thought this game was fun as hell. Because you get the total freedom of movement flying around, or not really flying, but swimming. You get to do dolphin things. It's just, in case we fig haven't figured it out by now, I tend to like games that do something other games don't do, or that do something better than other games that I like. Anyway, you know, like, there are a lot of platformers. I like Mega Man because, well, it lets you take the levels in whatever order you wanted. I liked, I don't know, Grand Theft Auto because it, it, it was the first real big sandbox you had, right? So I'm going to stop screwing around and actually proceed with the game. Because... There. The whole thing starts because your pod gets sucked up by a UFO. Yeah. Except you for some reason. And the rest of the game is about uncovering the story or trying to find your pod. I mean, the storyline couldn't get simpler, but I mean, you're a fucking dolphin, man. What do you want? So yeah, you're not an action hero, you're a dolphin, but the environments are really well rendered, the graphics are really nicely detailed and pretty fluid, given the, the, the capabilities of the, the Genesis at the time. I liked the music, the sound effects, and everything's really fluid. <laughs> no pun intended. Suddenly, great winds of water. Ah. So, yeah, um, I could be mistaken, but I think I've beat this game once, because, you know, kind of maze like this, it is a bit of a time-consuming game to play through. I don't remember how long it took me, either. It's been a long time, and, you know, going into this video, I didn't even bother, say, researching. Jeez, it's been a while since I played it, so don't mind if I don't know what the fuck I am doing right now. But, you got your sonar, which you do, at some point in the game, get the ability to turn it into a, like a basic attack, but for most of the time, you're going to be bashing shit with your nose. Most of the damage you deal to the few enemies you actually need to kill is done just like that. With your little rushing bash attack. Ow! Ow! Of course, you got to keep air in your lungs, because you aren't a fish, you are a mammal. Dolphins need air. So, one of those two gauges at the top left is my air gauge. That would be the bottom bluer one. The gray one on the top is my health. And you can fill it up by eating fish, or singing at shells, apparently. There, I ate another fish, not that I needed it. But, let's refill the oxygen. Poing, and get down. Ow! Lucky that didn't hurt. Okay, there's nothing over here. It is a maze. Ow! What? Okay. Check this out. Check this out. Douche move! Because I'm going to jump up there and get some air and then... Boing! Ow! Son of a bitch, that hurt! It's not fucking fair, man. Not remotely. Oh. The level design is... Odd. Okay. A whale. I know not what has happened to your pod. Well then, why the fuck are you answering? Oh yeah, perhaps the big blue will help you. You must travel past the undercaves to find him. Alright. And every now and then you find these things that you gotta bash him to get you the powers to unlock others. I'll have to show you where the thing is that's in the way that this ability just gave me... This thing just gave me the ability to get past. Um, this way maybe? Nope, nope. Gotta get back basically the way I came in this little maze, and that ain't it. Must go up. No, not here though. Ow! Deuce spikes! 
fucking, what is that, the third damn time I've let those things... Duh. Evil. Alright. Damn you, do your Sea World thing, huh? Get down there and do the... Okay. Now, don't let me fool you. It's not that hard to control. Actually, if there's anything about Echo, it's really fluid, really easy to control once you get the hang of him. And there ain't a lot to it. I'm just being stupid and facetious and abhorredly wrong. And you do find other dolphins to talk to. Like most role-playing games, not a lot of them have anything useful to say, but the ones you do, you don't want to miss. You know, like your typical JRPG, where you meet a guy who's like, I'm going to meet my girlfriend in an hour, and you're like, thanks, do you see the sword and the shield, buddy? What part of the fucking sword and the fucking shield made you think I gave a fuck about you meeting your girlfriend? Anyway, so this is the thing you would not normally be able to get past, except that I touched that thing, so it lets me blast it with my sonar. So I can move on to the next level. All the levels are pretty much like that. You find thing one to blast thing two out of the way so that you can proceed. And this is where the game starts getting really obnoxious. Or at least the level does. Because now it's no longer just, ow, being nice and showing you your way around. But, yeah. So now it's, it, like, level two, it's allowed to start getting viciously hard. So if this winds up being my stopping off point today, then so be it. But I mean, I'll try. I'll I'll try to get through it without a. Oh yeah, another douche move. Now I'm right back to where I started. Because that current. Can I just go through it? No, current. Current won't let me. All right. So I need air. Ow. It's really tricky trying to get air from those bubbles. I'll just... But I can't get it from there. So I'm in deep shit now. Now I have to try to get air... From... What the hell? From those bubbles. I have to attack them just right. You know what? Screw this. I'm gonna die anyway. If there's no air here I can get to yet, yeah, there's none. No air pocket. This dolphin's gonna suffocate. I missed! This thing, you have to push it into those rocks to get them destroyed. But, I'm gonna be a suffocated dolphin. Oh. So, and that's how unceremoniously you lose a life and just start back up. It, you know, there's no death animation because the game's trying to be all peaceful and shit. that out of the way, and now back to the main level. Now to try to move on without the bullshit and the suffocating and the wasting of time. Yes, that would be a brilliant idea. I gotta get up here. There's a... I need to get some information from that one, I guess. Oh yeah, it's a hint. Eight arms. You're thinking boss battle, but really it's... Just a piece of background, I'll show you. Ow! Sons of whores. There. And now we're through that. Would require a little bit of thinking to get into, but hey, we're in. An air pocket would be nice. There we go. Yay, I can breathe. There. Are you being serious? Crap. There's something I gotta find so I can get past that one. It's never so simple, is it? But then that is the whole point of the game, is the, the amount of exploration. Ow! Ow! Ow, son of a bitch! Ow! Evil nasty bubbles that kill you? Poison bubbles? Okay, this is getting crazy. I don't remember how many lives you get this game. I just know you get quite a few. There's little reason you can't play through this if you want to and experience the whole game. 
and it is fairly rewarding. There are some annoying bits, like this one that try to be, uh, uh, I don't know, challenging maze. Which, uh, one of the reasons I'm surprised I like Echo the Dolphin. I generally prefer my games with more action, too. More action and less maze, less ex less explore. Yeah, here's another dirty little secret from the Retromatic Gamer. I actually don't like The Legend of Zelda. Nope. Because I much prefer a game with straight fighting and not where you're supposed to try to find all these little secret things and go find the doodad that does the do th doohickey that does the thing that does the what you'll eventually get done. Contrary to liking Metroid. Because, well... I don't know. I didn't like Metroid so much in that you had to... With the first Metroid, you couldn't really beat it without just knowing where to bust holes in the secret shit. I love the sequels. Super Metroid, and you know, the Metroid games on the Game Boy Advance, where they give you... Um, like the, the maps and stuff, they give you a little guidance to help you figure out where to go. I don't mind a little exploration. Oh, will you please shut up? I don't mind a little exploration. Give you something to do. A sense of... A sense of adventure is not completely lost on me. But games more like Zelda where... Where there is... The, the exploration factor is really the biggest factor in the game. One could argue. Where the action kind of takes a backseat. I usually don't like... So you would think that I would not be a fan of Echo the Dolphin at all. But, no. It's not true. I don't know why. Don't ask me to explain why. Empirically, I cannot give you a reason why. And yes, I, t I try to pride myself on my uh, uh, logical sensitivities as a scientist. I just can't really explain it. I just like Echo the Dolphin. I guess maybe it could be that I like that... Oh, there it is. The exploration isn't shoehorned in by... Like the way that Zelda and Metroid do. No, everything's there, but you can't access everything. Ugh, oh, come on. What the hell? Move! Stupid Del... Aww. At least I know where it is now. I keep trying this over and over again all day if I want to, but I'm just not going to get very far, am I? I'm probably going to have to see if I can get through this, or at least give this game some practice, and give it another look at another time, so I can be more fair and less stupid, since it's been a long while. I at least want to get to this damn octopus because it's a good graphics, I suppose. Are you serious? I didn't... Okay, I opened it enough. But, because I aren't dumb, I need to go get the thing, the key the, to the thing, the key to my heart, <laughs> or chastity belt, whichever it is, for this rapey fish dolphin thing. Come on. I push button means you move. Stupid blowfish. Yo, bitch, blow. There. <laughs> now I can squeeze through this monkey. This is preferably before I run out of air. Actually, it's life that's the problem now. My bad. Zap that shit out of the way, and... A few more fishies. A little bit more air. Yay. Where's that damn octopus at? Right there. This is eight arms. How do you get past them? You just swim slow. Which means have a good lung full of air. If I move too fast, 
He smacks me around like a redheaded stepchild. And there's something up here I need to get. Or I can die. You know, I'm just going to call it good for now. I looked at Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> I guess that's maybe why it wasn't so popular, because it is a really difficult adventure game. I would dare say that the Metroid games are a little easier, perhaps. I don't know, because they're a little, little forgiving, you know, Metroid, because you got so much health. Whereas Echo just can't take a hell of a lot of damage, but... Still, it's a great game that comes with a high recommendation from me. It's unique. It is not the, the games you're used to. But I still like me some Echo the Dolphin, man. Give it a shot. Thanks for watching, folks.